Hello children, how are you all? Hope you are good. I am a teacher Dakshayani handling biology from Bardasanath Metric Higher Secondary School, Arakonam. Children, today we are going to see 9th standard biology chapter 7, respiration in plants. In the previous session, what are all the things we discussed children? We discussed about the respiration. What is respiration? Respiration is the chemical process which help which is helpful in breaking down the glucose and producing energy yes and later on we discussed about the two types of respiration what are they aerobic that is the respiration which involves oxygen and the anaerobic anaerobic respiration which takes place in the absence of uh, oxygen and now we are going to see how do the gaseous exchanges takes place in the plants? So, gaseous exchange in the plants, you know children, um, mostly many of the plants possesses the root hairs. So, the root hairs penetrate in between the soil and with the help of the cells, what happens? The oxygen from the soil diffuses into the root hairs and directly it is transported to the plants. So, in majority of the plants, the exchange of gas, gases takes place through the roots. But, only the young roots, only the young roots can take part in the uh, respiration because only the young roots possesses the root hairs. In the older roots, the root hairs are absent. So, it is a young plant which respires the oxygen with the help of its minute root hairs. Then what happens in the higher plants? Let, let us see. So, in the higher plants, the respiration takes place through the minute opening called as stomata, right? And also in the wooden woody barks, you can see the structures like this. We call it as lenticels. What we call this children? We call this as lenticels. These lenticels and stomata, they are helpful in respiration. They absorb the oxygen, they absorb the carbon dioxide or the oxygen and diffuse it into the plants and gives out oxygen. So, this is a, a gaseous exchange that takes place between the Plants. We know that the photosynthesis and respiration are opposite to each other, right? So, now let us see the structure of the lenticel. The lenticel, it consists of four main parts. First one, this is the lenticels. It is a lenticel. The gases diffuse into the plant only through this lenticel and the part A is marked as a cork. Cork, C is a cambium. Next, it is a secondary cells. Secondary cells. The gases diffuse into the plants through the stomata or the lenticels and they are diffused out through the lenticels. The, so, the, in the higher plants, the gaseous exchange takes place through the lenticels. So, next uh, you see in uh, Sundarbans or the mangrove forest, we say it as Sadhupu Nilakadigal, right? Especially we can see in Tamil Nadu, we can see in Pichavaram. You can see the entire plants are covered with the water. Then how do the plants in that places breathe? That is from the root, For especially in the plants Avicenia, some uh, structures arise like this. So, this is a breathing roots because due to the roots, the main root of the plant get logged in the water. So, it is not easy for the plant for the exchange of gases. So, especially the plants which is in the Sundarbans and Pichavaram, they produce a breathing roots which arise upwards and this breathing roots is called as pneumatophores, what we call children pneumatophores and the tip of this pneumatophores has many breathing pores. They possess many breathing pores or lenticels which is responsible for the 
exchange of gases that is why children it is a characteristic features of the mangrove forest but you can see a normal land living plant when the water is locked you can see the plant automatically dies because without the if the water is fully blocked what happens the roots cannot take part in the oxygen that is the exchange of gases so automatically the plant dies so now let us see what is the difference between the respiration in the plants and respiration in animals first in the plants respiration takes place at different parts for example the structures such as stem leaves root everything are involved in the respiration but in the case of animals in the case of animals we possess the respiratory system and here it acts as a single unit the main difference children here different organs are involved in the respiration in plants but here the respiration acts as a single unit and here the respiratory rate is slow the rate of respiration is slow when compared to that of the animals in animals the re respiratory rate is respiratory rate is fast is fast and one more important difference is that in plants only the um, gases are transported only to the short distances they are transported only to the short distances but here in animals the at the time of respiration then it has to be travel a long distance so here in animals respiration has to travel the long distance that is the energy it has to reach each and every cell of the animal so this is the main difference between the respiration in plants and respiration in animals now let us find out the difference between the respiration and the photosynthesis respiration it is a destructive process why we say it as a destructive process it is a destructive process because here glucose this catabolic it is a breakdown glucose gets breakdown into oxygen water as well as it produces energy and here the chemical energy is utilized chemical energy is utilized in during the respiration utilized during the respiration but here what happens in the photosynthesis it is a constructive process it is a constructive process constructive process because here what happens the with the help of carbon dioxide water and in the presence of light and chlorophyll glucose is synthesized glucose is synthesized so it is a anabolic reaction and here you can see um, here the light energy is converted into the light energy is converted into chemical energy but in the case of respiration the formed chemical energy is utilized and one more important uh, difference between them is respiration takes place all the time but photosynthesis takes place only when light is available so this is a comparison as well as a contrast between the respiration and photosynthesis so let us recap what are all the things we discussed children we discussed how do the exchange of gases takes place exchange of gases takes place exchange of gases takes place through root hairs and lenticels and later on we contrasted we found out the difference how the respiration takes place in the plants and then in the animals and later on we com compared the photosynthesis and the 
respiration. This is the assessment given related to this topic children. Just go through it. With this, this session comes to an end. In the description we have attached study material, assessment and question bank for this lesson. Go through it. Thank you children.